On this video, I'm going to show you how to use the keypad settings. You know, in some modes, the keypad window will show a dialog box with various settings for using angle, stitches per inch, and our needle position. I'm going to click left click on the base mode. And if you look down the bottom right corner, we have our keypad settings. And uh, the, let's talk about the stitches per inch. As you can see here, we have a B1.0. What that means, it will base may, or take a stitch every inch. Now, if I change that to B0.5, now that means it will take a stitch every half inch. And the B indicates that. That is inches per stitch. Now when I click the up arrow, that goes to a 4.00, which means that is four stitches per inch, or we'll take a stitch every quarter inch. Needle position. If we look at the bottom left button, on the screen it says single stitch. Now I'm going to press that button and if you observe it takes a, a complete stitch. Now I'm going to take the mouse and click on needle position. And if you notice it says needle position on the screen. Now when I press this bottom left button I get the needle stays down. If I press it again, it comes up. Okay, if I have it in the down position and it's stitching, if we start stitching down, when you stop stitching, it stops down. Now remember, the left handle button on the sewing head will also do a single stitch or a half stitch, depending on where the po needle position is set. Angle. This is the current angle that will be used when channel lock is turned on. Flip angle. This is intended to be used with the channel lock feature. It will either replace the current angle or add to it depending on the radiate setting. If radiate is not checked, this angle will replace the current angle. Otherwise, it adds to it. Radiate works with flip angle for creating radiating line designs. And that is an overview of how to use the keypad settings.